more. Let's make a joyful noise to the house in the house of God this morning. Let's give God a hand of praise and thank this morning. Glory be to God. It's a day that the Lord made. We should rejoice and be glad in it this morning. Praise God. All we have to look within ourselves, look around, we see that God is still in the blessed vision this morning. Glory be to God. And we are so blessed and we highly thank we be here this morning. Glory be to God. And we are not to forget to tell him thank you for his grace and for his mercy this morning. Glory be to God. Realize there's a lot going on. Glory be to God. But there ain't nothing greater than the God that is working in our life this morning. And for that reason, we humbly say, Lord, I love you this morning. I praise you this morning. And I honor you in the mighty name of Jesus this morning. If I can get somebody in the congregation to lead us in the hymn of praise, and then we're going to our scripture reading this morning. Glory be to God. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yonder. St. Luke 11, child. St. Luke 11. Glory be to God. We thank God this morning for his word this morning. Glory be to After this, praise God. I ask uh, Deacon Joy, he will lead us in the prayer of the word this morning. Praise God. St. Luke chapter 11, verse uh, 17. So, but he, knowing their thoughts, said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself, brought to desolation, and the house divided against itself, falling. If Satan also be divided against itself, how shall his kingdom stand? Because you say that I cast out devil through Bezalel. And if I by Bezalel cast out devil, by whom do your son cast them out? Therefore, therefore shall they be your judges. But if I with favor of God cast out thou devil, no doubt the kingdom of God is come upon you. Come to you. When a strong man, when a strong man arms and keeps his place, his good are in peace. But when the strong, then he shall come upon him and overcome him. He take it from him all his own where he trusts and divided his fall. He that is not with me is against me. And he that is greater not with me scatter. When the unclean spirit is gone out of the man, he walketh through dry places, seeking rest and finding none. He said, I will return to my house, which I came out. And when I come, he findeth it swept and gone. Then goes he and take him seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they hid him to and dwell there, and the last state of the man is worse than the first. Deacon Joel, we lead us in prayer this morning. Say good morning, each and every one. It's a blessing just to be in the house of the Lord one more time. One more time to give this thing praise on my name. Let's pray. Most holy and all wise God, once more and again and in thy sight, we approach thy throne of grace. Thanking you, Father God, for another day. Father, we thank you for our early rise this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you allowed us another opportunity, Lord, to come to the house of worship one more time. One more time, oh Heavenly Father, give your name, praise, the honor, and the glory. We thank you, Lord, for this opportunity. And Lord, we pray while we're here, Lord, that your presence will be with us, Lord, to guide us and lead us the way you have us to go. Be with us, O oh Lord, that we will not go astray. Keep us, O oh Father God, in your keeping power. And we will forever give your name, praise, the honor, and all the glory. We pray, O oh Father God, that as we had the service on this morning, Lord, we pray, Lord, that you would heal our pastor, Lord, that would encourage us, Lord, that will help us.
us, Lord, to go on our journey, continue our journey. We pray, oh, Father God, that you will bless each and every one, Lord, that come into the building today, Lord. Bless them as they come to you, Lord, and bless the one, Lord, that's on your way. We pray, oh, Father God, that someone might hear, hear something today, Lord, that will encourage them, Lord, to want to know what must they do to be saved. Help us, Lord, to help them, Lord. We pray, oh, Father God, for the city shut in. We pray, oh, Father God, that you will let them know, Lord, that you will us in your word, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. So we know, Lord, that you will whip them, Lord, whatever they're going through. Lord, you can raise the sick, Lord, off the sick bed, Lord. You can heal, you can deliver, Lord, and you can set free. Because you are God, and so you tell you my nothing. Lord, we pray for the one, Lord, that might be going through life's trials and tribulation, Lord. We pray, oh, Father God, that you will just let them know, Lord, that the way you see is them. For the gift of God in eternal life. Let them know that, Lord, and they might come to know you even more. We pray, oh, Father God, that you would just touch, Lord. Let us feel your presence today, Lord. That the, the one, Lord, that don't know you in the part of their sin, Lord, might come to one saying, What must they do to be saved? Help us, Lord. We need your help. We can't do it alone, but with you, Heavenly Father, all things are possible. So, Lord, we thank you now, Lord. We pray, Lord, that you let, let's just serve some today. Let it be what you would have to be, Lord. Lord, help us, Lord. We need your help. We can't do it without you, Lord. And we pray, oh, Father God, that as one's coming to this building today, Lord, that they will feel your presence as they come. And Lord, we won't forget, Lord, to give your name all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. For we know, Lord, it all belongs to you. Bless, Lord, and we shall be blessed. Heal, Lord, and we shall be Deliver, Lord, and we know we shall be delivered. We ask these blessings, Lord, and our will bless them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the precious Holy Spirit. It's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. 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 As a congregation, they give us another selection at this time. Yeah, but 
you have to trust him enough to let him have whatever bothered you this morning. Let go and let God be in your life. Maybe it's a finance issue. Maybe it's a sickness issue. Maybe it's a family issue going in. Maybe people just get on your last nerve. We don't know. Praise God. But just give it to God this morning. Just release it to him. And God will take care of the matter. Glory be to God. So if you would this morning, praise God, just lift your hand up and pray this morning. Just tell him thank you this morning. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Lord, I give it to you this morning. Lord, I can't help this morning. Lord, I care about a seed here, God. God, I trust and believe that you will. Yes. You will fix it. We read the scripture that if that, if that sick leave you, he will come back to something worse than what it was the first time. So now release it. Release it. Dare not to come and protect the community this morning. We are angry in your heart. We are jealous in your heart. We are malice in your heart. If you never ought against somebody in the church right now, point to them. Or hand up and say, Lord, I forgive them. And let God have it this morning. Oh, worship him in your heart this morning. Worship him in the spirit this morning. Worship him in the truth this morning. The truth be told, we all need a blessing. But God is in the blessing business this morning. Praise God. Otherwise, if all well with you, give me the thumbs up. If you guys can get your thumbs down, I want you to remain standing. That pastor come forth and pray and lead us in communion and the way God leading him. God is good to go. Somebody say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. Thank you. Amen. We let those in and the best of you. Thank you so much. Uh, as we come, this is our last in this year that we will have Holy Communion. Amen. 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 If you will find your hymnals and turn to uh, hymn number uh, 598, uh, the Lord's Supper, and as we prepare, uh, we uh, thank you for being here. We bless the Lord for his Holy Spirit in our lives. Amen. I'm really glad to be here in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be blessed, Lord. Amen. Thank God for our ministers being here this morning, speakers, and finance ministers, and all of our brothers and sisters. Amen. From uh, 1 Corinthians, the 11th chapter, verses 23 to 34. Uh, for I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke the bread and said, Receive it. And this is my body, which is for you. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. And after the same manner, he also took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. Do it. Do this, this do ye as oft as you drink it in remembrance of me. Wherefore, well, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause men are weak and sick among them, and men are sick. Amen. <laughs> For if he would, if, if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are taken on the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brothers, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And then let him eat at home, that he come not together to condemnation. And the rest I was setting forth when I come. The portion where he says, Let us yet tarry one for another. Amen. 
How many know it's good for us to pray for one another? Amen. Amen. It's good for us to keep each other lifted up in prayer and as we prepare to receive our communion today. We bless the Lord for his presence here. We thank him for what he's doing in our lives. And we're going to pray and ask God blessing over this fruit of the vine and ask his blessing over the bread which represents the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you, Lord. For you said in your word, as often as you do this, do this in remembrance of me. We remember your life, we remember your death, your suffering, and your resurrection. We thank you for your presence here in our lives, God. And we thank you, Lord, for us pausing long enough, God, to do the one thing that you asked us to do. And we come, Lord, ask you to examine us as we pray one for another. Yes. Bless this, the bread that we shall receive, God, and let it be the representation of your body and the fruit of the vine that we shall receive. Let it be the representative of the blood of Jesus that what can wash away my sin, what can make me whole again, nothing but the blood of Jesus. We thank you and we honor you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 On that night in which Jesus knew that he would be betrayed, it was a solemn night, a night that they was remembering the Passover when God led Israel out of Egypt, led them out from Pharaoh with a mighty hand. Anybody glad that God led you out of the Amen. He led them out. And they would come and they would tell the story. And they would tell about the blood that they put on the doorpost. Right? And that night when the death angel came, right? How many know that the door that the blood was open? How many know the death angel just passed on by? How many are glad for the blood of Jesus on your life? Amen. And so they came to remember that. And they had the bread, and they had the fruit of the vine, and they came and they would sit down. And that night, Jesus said that this is going to be the last time that you come together and do this the way you're doing it. And he said that this night, my body shall be broken, my blood shall be shed for you for the remission of sin. How many know it's been a change ever since then? Amen. 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 So as our mothers will come forth this morning as we prepare uh, to share with you and share with you and the body of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as it us as if they would dim the light for us. Amen. As we prepare. Uh, I'm sorry to come dress the way I did this morning, but my schedule had been very busy this week. And uh, so perhaps I can't do it with you, but I do want the people to know yeah. that I'm not trying to be selfish or anything like that. But people call me to say, well, in Christian, Christian things were happening in their, mm -hmm. in their life. And, and one of my grandson and wife, she had dealt with her family, and I was kind of like, Brother of the North, she's not about herself. So I just overlooked it because, you know, I didn't want to disrespect the church. And I don't want to think that I'm more selfish, you know. Hey Amen. We know that your heart is right. Amen. I mean, know your heart is right. The dress will come later. Amen. 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 ministers come. Thank you so much. Thank you, sister. Amen. Amen. As we prepare. We know that Jesus on that night in which he was betrayed, the Bible said that he took the bread that represented his body. Jesus knew that 
his nightmare, his body was to be broken. And he said, this bread is a representation of my body. And as this bread is broken tonight, my body shall be broken for you for the remission of sin, right? What can wash away my sins? What can make me whole again, right? Nothing but what? The blood of Jesus. And then Jesus, this cup represents my blood. And in our custom, we said that as it flows one to the other, but how many know that the blood of Jesus flows for the remission of our sins, right? And so we thank him for that. We bless the Lord for his presence in our lives. We know it's our custom that, that as we quarterly come to receive communion, that we, we keep our cups as a reminder, right? That how good God has been to us. How many know the last time we took communion? How many know somebody's not here? Amen. 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 But it's nothing but the grace of God. That we are what? Still here. Anybody can tell the Lord, thank you. That we are still here, right? And we ask you to keep the cup, amen. And hold on to your cup, amen. And put it somewhere that it will remind you, right, of how good God has been to us. No matter what we're going through, no matter what is happening, God is still with us. Now, as I uh, become come for the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, the body and the blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we ask us to add now, part of the leaders and the congregation again, amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. All oh, precious is the blood. Nothing but the 
That night they came together and they did eat and drink together, let us do likewise. Praise the Lord, amen. Praise the Lord. I want you to hold on to your cup. I want you to think about it, right? What do you desire? to happen in your life that you know that if God don't do it, it won't get done. Amen? Amen. What is it that you desire? That you know, I know, that if God don't do it, it won't get done. I want you to hold on to this cup. Because how many know that's what the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ is all about, right? Yeah. If God don't do it, what? Won't get done. Won't get done. Amen. And as Pastor George passed around to you, keep your cup, right? I want you to, to we're going to go into prayer. But I want you to think about, and it's good for your little children to keep their cups too, right? How many of those good for them to grow up praying and having expectations of the Lord, right? Because that's the thing in their little lives that mom and daddy can't do. Right? They need to know at an early age that God can do it. How many glad you grew up as a child understanding that God can do it? Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. Now we're old. We still know what? God can do it. So, we're going to just go and pray a little while. We're going to believe God that in this next 90 days, that God is going to do something in our lives. It can't, can't, get, can't get done unless He was. I forgot in the witness that God will do. Amen. Amen. I forgot the witness that God will do. Amen. I want you to hold on to your cup and I want you to meditate for a while. What is it that you, this next 90 days, that you desire for God to do? Could be in your life, could be in your family life, could be some area, but you know that if God don't do it, it won't get done. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you right now, God. Thank you, God. That as we hold on to our cups, God, our cup is a representation that you can do it for us, God. Yes. It's a representation, oh God, that every time we see it, it's a reminder of your presence in our lives. Yes. 
We give your name to glory. We give your name to praise. And we thank you for one more time that yeah. the body of Christ we commune together. Yes. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. How many believe God can do? Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. Come on, give him a hand praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. We thank God once again for your grace and mercy. Praise God. We thank, praise God. We give another um, thank you to help put the small table back. We ask the finance ministry that they would come forward now to receive our tithes and offerings. Praise God. The usher will direct us. We ask that the choir members that are here, praise God, will you give us a give us a selection at this time? God give the glory. God give the praise. Somebody tell the Lord thank you this morning. Thank you, Lord. Thank glory be to God. Glory be to God. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare a room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven nature sing. Joy to the earth, the Savior reigns. Let men the sun will flow. While fields and floods, broad fields and plains, repeat the sound in joy, repeat the sound in joy, repeat, repeat, repeat the sound in joy. We rule the world with truth and grace, and make the nation prove the glories of his righteousness, and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and wonders and wonders of his love. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare your room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven nature sing. He rules the world in truth and truth, and makes the nations prove the glories of his righteousness, and wonders of his love, and wonders of his love, and the wonders of his love. No more let sin and sorrow. No more no infest the ground. He comes to make his blessings flow. For as the curse is bound, for as the curse is bound, for as the curse is Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare his room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father God, we come before you, thanking you for blessing us to yield toward the upbuilding of your kingdom. And we ask that you bless this offering and bless those who have given into it. And those who did not have to give, God, I ask that you bless them also. And Lord, hopefully and thankfully, thank you for your grace and mercy that you bless us to give. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Once again, we thank you and we thank God for giving this morning. I want to announce and ask, praise God, for all our choir members. If God gave you the Lord to sing, praise God. We ask, praise God, for this Sunday, for now, praise God, there were two people in the church, you choir one or you go to the choir stand. Praise God. Praise God. So the choir, you be recognized as choir, let's do what we have been called to do. I'm not saying we can force you to sing, but at least you can set the position to sing the song. So let's not wait on the drum and the keyboard, praise God, to give God praise and honor through you to this morning. So as the choir member, we're able to do that, praise God. For every Sunday from this forward on, praise God. We're able to two of the building, one go to the choir, and one set in the congregation, praise God. But let's just do what we get in the position we're supposed to be in. Also, as that you continue to pray for the bereaved family, for the last two weeks, praise God, the night family, praise God, if they feel like two Miller, and some of y'all read Sister Beverly Gowden called the other day, and, and she lost a family member, they feel like I'm not mistaken, two still, praise God, and there are other around here, praise God, they're going through grief and they're going through time, praise God, and we don't know next time may be our house, may be our home, praise God. So let's continue to lift them up in prayer, praise God. Let's get in the house of God with praise and worship and thank you. I thank God for each and every one of you here, praise God. I thank God for what you're doing, praise God. I can't speak for the past, but I speak on behalf of the past, praise God. God has got some great and some marvelous and some wonderful people in this place, praise God. So let's just show forth his work and his mighty act of kindness, praise God, toward each other here, praise God. Let's continue to lift each other up, praise God. There was some trial, there was some time, there's some tough time. We realize that most of us are going through something, praise God. Sickness in my house right now, Lord, my praise God. I'm in a situation with the doctor right there, but nevertheless, I'm continuing, and I want you to continue just praying, God. It's not about me, it's about him, praise God. It's about what he's doing in the midst, praise God. Praise God. So let's take every opportunity we got, praise God, to love on each other, to pray for each other, praise God, to support each other, praise God. It's not about a big eye, big eye, and look at you. It's about all of us being one in Christ Jesus, praise God. And let's give his name praise and honor, praise God, in this house. Somebody tell the Lord thank you this morning. Thank you, God. Praise God. Yes, Pastor, come forth for that with the word of God for the people of God. I'm going to give the Lord a hand praise to everybody. I'm glad to be in the Lord's house. Amen. Amen. It's good to be in the Lord's house one more time. I'm excited about what the Lord is doing. Amen. Amen. Let me thank those of you on last week. Uh, uh, we was able to, let me just say, next Sunday at 5 o'clock, uh, uh, Kanita Missionary Baptist Church, and um, also with um, LeCount Anderson and, and uh, his beautiful wife will be here. Our state representative, Mr. Shelley Willingham, will be here speaking for us. Also, um, we are glad to be able to say that the city of Kanita, our mayor, and our city council is working together with those of us in the city to come together on next Sunday to have a Kanita Christmas, right? At 5 o'clock here. Uh, um, thank you so much, Catherine, and so many others working with us. We have about 50 students that we are preparing to give presents to. And if your children is here, if you're not signed up, uh, let's please see... Uh, Sister Martha, will you please stand up? And, uh, and my good sister that's here, the part of your word, raise your hand, amen. Amen. Sister Charlotte's sister. <laughs> amen. I always call it, you know, when you get called to people by somebody else's name so long, Sister Maxine, 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 Maxine. Sister Maddie, Brenda, yeah, praise the Lord. <laughs> amen. 
uh, and Sister Catherine. So in mean, working with this, how many know that we need to come together and work as a team? Amen. And let me tell you something, that, that, that because we've been working as a team, every week uh, from the farm, they've been able to give out 500 bags of food, plus protein, chickens, and meat to families that are needed in our area. Somebody ought to tell the Lord, thank you, right? Amen. That they've been able to do that. And on this coming Monday, there will be in Newman, North Carolina, uh, with Palatine Ministries, uh, feeding 500 families with food that is grown in Little Oak Isn't it a blessing? Come on, isn't it a blessing? That people might not know nothing else about you, but they know that you have a heart to care, right? Amen. 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 And this week over in Pine Tops or Pine Chapel, I don't know which word, which day they'll be doing it, but they'll be at with Pine Chapel will be giving out food boxes and protein chickens and pine tops this week. Feeding God's people. Amen. Amen. And what's so good about it, our children they are participating. They were down yesterday at the farm packaging these bags. Our little children, little five-year-old children, down there packing bags to make sure that other little children like them had something to eat. Somebody ought to tell the Lord thing. Amen. Amen. And this evening, uh, they're gonna, you guys will be in the parade, right? They have about and, and we anybody uh, children want to be in the parade, please bring your children down. Uh, I'm gonna be there, but I think so many children showed up. I think I'm gonna have to walk. <laughs> but y'all, <laughs> I think I better get my walking shoes, Sister Marie, because I I think the float is already taken. I think I'm walking. <laughs> I pray it don't go too fast, but Amen. Thank you for praying for Sister Bunch and praying for other ones, uh, Brother Bird's mom, and keeping everybody in prayer. And thank you so much. Amen. Thank you for keeping your cups. And thank you for, for believing God for what God can do, right? Amen. Amen. I'm going to believe in God for what God can do. Amen. Amen. Believe in God for what God can do. And we thank God, our partnership with our faith community works, having so many other churches that we're partnershiping with to do this. And thank you so much. And our our president of our General Baptist, Mr. Jim Banks, you know, is working with us. You're going to hear a lot more about our food for medicine. How many of believe that you can change your lifestyle by how you eat? Anybody believe that? Anybody really believe that you can change your lifestyle by what you eat? Anybody grew up like I grew up that, that mom and daddy couldn't, didn't have the privilege to go to the grocery store and feed us? Anybody remember that? Yeah. Amen. They, if they could go to the smokehouse and go to the garden, we were hungry. Uh, go down to somebody else's house and eat, right? Get food. How many glad that you grew up in a community that knew how to share with each other? Amen. That you you grew up in a community that literally knew how to share, right? Yes. Anybody ever remember Mom tell you, go down to Sister Sister's house and tell us Cindy some shit? Right? And and by the way, take them this, right? You take this up, bring us something, right? Yes. It was a community united. How many know that's what God wants to see us doing? And so I'm just, just happy about this season. I want to call your attention back to the Gospel of Luke. Uh, thank you so much, Ms. Worse, for teaching our Sunday school. We please ask you to come to our Sunday school. Thank you so much that on Wednesday nights is our uh, 6 o'clock to 7 o'clock intercessory prayer. Uh, we will start back our Bible studies by Zoom. Uh, some people that still, you know, we sometimes it's difficult to get out, and sometimes when you used, when you used to stay at home, 
difficult to come out when you've been used to staying at home, right? And so here it is, Luke, the physician, right, of this account of the birth of Jesus. Luke penned this in the first chapter of Luke of Elizabeth and Zachariah and Joseph and Mary, their encounter with angel. And, and what a beautiful story it is. True story. And so it is here that we're going to continue the next couple of Sundays looking at this. And here it is Mary experience with Gabriel the angel. And I just want to read a bit of what Mary encounter is all about. Anybody glad that you got your own encounter with God? Yes. 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 And so here it is. Mary says here that her encounter, and I'm going to begin reading at the fifth of verse. Let's do verse 46. We'll start. When you have it, say amen. And Mary said, my soul doth what? Magnify what? The Lord. And my spirit hath rejoiced and God my what? Savior. For he hath regarded the low estate of his handmaiden. <clears throat> For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me what? Amen. And that's what we're doing this morning. For he that is mighty has, has what? Done to me great things. And holy is what? His name. And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. He showed strength with his arms. He has scattered the proud in their imagination and of their hearts. He has put down the mighty from their seats and exalted them of what? <clears throat> Lord and greed. And he has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He had opened, he has, he had opened his servants, Israel, and remembrance of his mercy. And he spake to our fathers, to Abraham, and to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her own home. This is Mary. And Elizabeth getting together. Last Sunday we talked about it's all in the family. How many are glad that God is blessing your family? Come on, food. Am I glad that God is blessing your family? Yes. Yes. I mean, how many is glad that you called up somebody in your family closet and tell them how good God did to you? That's just hold it. Just a minute. Let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. Anybody glad that you got that kind of process that your family is calling each other, telling each other what the Lord has done for you? Well, this Sunday, I just want to stop by and speak about divine intervention. Divine intervention. Anybody glad that, that, that the divinity of God has, has invaded your life. Come on now, have I got a witness? Anybody glad that God has done something for you that you could not have done for yourself? Have I got a witness in the house? Anybody in here know that I would not be sitting here this morning if it had not been for the divine hand of God in my life? Have I got a witness in the house? 
Can anybody think back long enough that there's some things that you've done in your life that if God had to get there, it would have took you out? If I ever go do something that you know you would have lost your mind if you had to have your mind stayed on Jesus. Have got a witness in the house. How do you know that the divine presence of God, and don't you ever think that, that, that your intellect, your money, your friends, and your dish, and your that is going to sustain you in this life? But how do you know if God, my reverence, say, if the Lord had to wake me up this morning? I would have been on my cooling board. But thanks be to God that the divine hand of God is still operating in my life. Somebody need to tell somebody favor ain't fair. But I know it's a gift from God. Have got a witness in the house. Anybody glad that the grace of God is still moving in your life? And so here it is, here it is. And Sister Claude, I'm telling you that. That, that with the things that is happening in our world today, and everybody's wondering that, that who's going to who gonna change it? Can the president change it? Can the law enforcement change it? Can social services change it? Who can make my community say, how many know if God don't do it? Have we got a witness in the house? Is anybody glad that God came through your house and did something and after God did what he had to do, he made it able for you to do something? Amen. How many ever been down and feel like you couldn't even move and God stopped by and did something in your life that gave you the strength to get up again? That if it had not been for the Lord, I would still be laying in the bed depressed. If it had not been for the Lord, I wouldn't have my right mind. If it had not been for the Lord, I, I, I know I couldn't take it. But thanks be to God that, that, that God is able. I haven't got a witness in the house. That God is able. I don't know about you, but I got some nieces and nephews that I'm still praying for. And I, I want to see God moving in their life. And, and if it wasn't for God, I would give up hope. But if anybody can say my hope, this bill don't hurt John nothing less. But what Jesus Christ and his what? Anybody depending on God? How many of anybody depending on God? Have got a witness in the house? But I'm literally depending on God that that that, that if I were depending on myself, that my enemies, if my enemies only had Richard Earl to worry about. How do you know that they were already win, right? Anybody glad that your enemies better look at more than you? How many of you in the house? Anybody glad that your enemies are going to look at more than you? That they're going to look at God in your life? They're going to look at what God is doing in your life? And see, that's what the life is. The lie said, I'm just looking at David, and I'm not looking at his God. But how I many know you better look at God in my life? No other witness in the house. Because if I come through, it's not going to be because of me. It's going to be because of who? And so here it is, Mary. Mary is declaring here. Mary is saying praise. Mary is saying that I'm, a, I'm just a lonely servant. I'm I'm not up at the top of the rail that, that, that I'm a humble woman of God that just me and my family, we don't have a lot of stuff, but we got trust in God. And we got a witness in the house that we have trusted God and, and, I, and I'm just, she was just happy that, but the next to that, that she was glad that she was getting right to get married and, and that she was happy that things are happening in her life. But I know God can stop by and bless you in a normal day and turn your day upside down and bless you with something that you never knew thought you would get. But God will bless you with have a witness in the house. That God stopped by Elizabeth and stopped by Zachariah's house and said, I know you're just having a normal day, but I want to bless your socks off. You get right to have a birth and not own the birth, but you're going to have the birth that's going to change the rest of the world life. Why am I going to witness in the house? Anybody glad that God stopped by your house and turned your normal day upside down and made your normal day a great day that you remember for the rest of your life? How am I going to witness in the house? Won't God do it for you? Won't he make a way for you? So here it is. Here it is. And I'm so glad that that God 
God is allowing this community to come together. Amen. Speaking words, I'm glad that God is allowing the political city council to come together. The church to come together. The basic community to come together. And come together and celebrate the goodness of Jesus. And all that he was done for us. And our children can grow up, grow up in a community in an area that said, I remember how the, how the community and the church came together and bless our life for the witness in the house. And that's what is happening in here, that God is allowing the community, Martha and Mary, Zechariah and Joseph, to come together. And when they come together, how many know that the divine presence of God is going to come by and stop by and bless everybody? Have well, another witness in the house. And how many know when God stop by and bless you? How many know there's more than enough? How many know when God bless you, you pray and keep it to yourself? How many know when God bless you, that it's more than enough that you need, that you got to share it with everybody else? Anybody ever had God to bless you with so much that you had to bless your neighbor, you had to bless your sister, you had to bless your brother, you had to bless everybody else? Because that's the way that God moved with the divine presence of God stopping you. See, when the world bless you, they just give you enough for what? Yourself. And you run and lock it up. Right? Well, bless y'all, you just run and lock it up. Because you don't want to be all to find out. Because you know if they find out, they don't try to what? They can get some of it, right? You try to go get you some more locks. Right? And you ain't telling too many folks. But I don't know when the Lord bless you. Hallelujah, right? When the divine presence of God bless you, you got to do what Martha and Mary did. Martha and Mary said that I, I can't keep this to myself. Anybody had God to bless you so much you couldn't keep it to yourself? Anybody had God bless you so much you didn't know God no lot? But you said, I've got more than enough of myself. I'm going to bless somebody else. Have another witness in the house. That I'm going to bless my brother. I'm going to bless my sister. I'm going to bless everybody else. And how many know when God gets the blessing, everybody get blessed? Have another witness in the house. How many know when God steps in the house, everybody in the house is blessed? Come on, don't prove me now. Have another witness in the house. Has anybody in there God bless you so much that you say, I can't hold it? Let somebody come back. You ain't got to steal it. You ain't got to beg for it. I'm going to give it to you because the same way God gave it to me, I'm going to what? Come on, somebody tell the Lord thank you. Hey, have got a witness in the house. How many want to bless other folks like God bless you? Have got a witness in the house. How many want to be a blessing to somebody else just like God bless you? When we, we say that's all, I want to be just like Jesus. If you want to be like Jesus, you got to learn how to bless folks. You got to learn how to let the divine presence of God come in, right? And so here it is, Martha and Mary experiencing the divinity of God. Let me tell you something. Don't ever, you know, don't ever have your life where you are just, just dependent on natural things. Don't you ever depend on your natural mind alone. Don't you ever depend on your natural strength alone. Don't you ever depend on what you earn in your bank account alone. Don't you ever depend on this natural stuff of this world? Come on, you know God can bless you beyond this world. I've got a witness in now. Is there anybody in here ever God had God to bless you in every area of your life? And you know it could it won't nobody but God, right? The divine intervention of God. Amen. I'm gonna live for that. I'm living, I am living to experience God every day. 
I'm experiencing, Sister Matt, that I am going to experience a divine move of God in my life every day. And I want to be conscious of what God is doing. Amen. Come on, have got a witness? Yeah. Anybody want to be conscious of what God is doing? Yeah. You know, you know, have you ever been in a place where I said, I don't know why I'm doing this for you. I don't even know why I'm doing it. I know why you're doing it. Because of the divine presence of Almighty God. How do you know when God show up, people act better? Right? How do you know when God show up, right? That drink of liquor that I would have drunk, but God showed up. That person that I would have crushed out, but God showed up. That deal that I thought I couldn't pay, but God showed up. That pain that used to hold me down, but God showed up. Have got a witness in the house. That problem that used to get me all the time, but God showed up. Have got a witness in the house. Nice that I used to speak, but God showed up. Have got a witness in the house. The enemy that used to torture me ain't torture me no more, but God, God showed up. Have got a witness in the house. The thing that used to make me cry, I got joy now because God showed up. The divine presence of God. Mary says, and holy is his name. Because he has took the lonely of heart. And he has exalted. I don't know where you're at this morning. I don't know where you are. But I, my prayer is that, that the divine presence of God, that we will live to experience his presence in our lives every day. Amen? Amen. And so, and that's what our ancestors said, that when I think about the goodness of Jesus, Sister Shaw, and all that he done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah. I thank God. I've got a witness in the house. I thank God for saving me. You can't tell it. Let me tell it. But the Lord has what done for me. And I want to encourage you today, my brothers and my sisters, it do not matter where we are, how many of God can find us? Amen. It don't matter what your job may be. I mean, no God can find you. You don't have to look for God. I mean, no God will what? Let us bow as we pray. We thank you for a divine intervention. Not just for Zacharias, not just for Joseph, Elizabeth, and Mary. We thank you, Lord, that we too have a testimony of your presence in our lives. We thank you, Lord, for our dependence upon who you are. And as you have shown up in our lives, help us to show up in other people's lives. As you have blessed us, help us to bless somebody else. That we may be a representative of you on this earth. We pray now that you have your way. And we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. As you stand to your feet, if you're here this morning and you never prayed to receive Christ 
as your personal Savior. Amen. How many of you can receive Christ today as your personal Savior? And I want you to be conscious of the divine presence of God every single day by Amen. And so, if you're here, you can come. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. I will trust in the Lord. Trusting in the Lord. Amen. Amen. Bless you, my brothers and my sisters.